Hi everyone, welcome to the makeup chair. We are back with another video and I really hope you guys are gonna enjoy this one. But as always, I am here to help. So if you need any more advice, any more help, even if it's not related to this video, definitely let me know in the comment section or you can message me on Instagram, which is at Katie. My DMs are open for you guys. With all that said, let's get started with today's video. Starting off with the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer. This is a waterproof concealer, which is very important to note because that does affect the way that you apply it. You need to work quite quickly, even though the product itself is quite smooth, it needs to be blended quickly, otherwise it will set in place and that stuff is waterproof, so it's very tricky to move afterwards. The coverage is medium to full coverage, leaning towards more of the full coverage than the medium, but I absolutely love applying this and then using a sponge over the top, which kind of almost shears it off, but it gives you a better finish if you have dry skin because the finish on this one is a satin to matte and the lighter shades are more matte than the darker shades. The way that they bleach the products typically ends up creating a drier consistency. So for people like me who are light and dry, it's very difficult for us to find really good concealers. But this one is one of my favorite ones for super full coverage and I can use it provided I prep my skin correctly beforehand. And it's available in 14 shades, which go from light to dark and then different tones within those light to darks. Moving on to the Naked Concealer, which is also by Urban Decay. I actually prefer this one personally. I do find that the All Nighter is great if you have oilier skin or your concealer just never stays on your skin, you're probably better off using the all-nighter. This is supposed to be weightless coverage and I can guarantee you that is what it feels like. It literally feels like there's nothing on your skin. Medium to full coverage, which is a very difficult thing for a product to do. It's lightweight, but it also has full coverage. That's usually unheard of. The finish is a satin finish, so it doesn't feel like you're wearing anything too heavy and it doesn't look like you're wearing anything too heavy and it's available in 14 shades. I wish that they would open up their shade range just a little bit more, but it is awesome. It goes from light to dark and then different tones within them. I am the lightest warm shade. Next up, I have the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. This is a waterproof concealer, but it also is a little different because you only use a tiny dot. Waterproof concealers are quite tricky to use anyway, but when you have this sort of formula where it's literally so concentrated, you have to learn how to use less. The first time I did it, I applied way too much because I applied the amount I usually use when I apply concealer and it was just far too much product. So you need to kind of learn how to use this. The coverage is amazing though. It's medium to full coverage. It's a satin matte finish. Matte if their shades are lighter. It's that whole bleaching issue that we have with products. So I do find that it can emphasize some of my dryness but it's available in 24 shades and they are very passionate about their products as well, which I really like about It Cosmetics. I feel like they actually care about their customers. Yves Saint Laurent Touche Eclat Illuminating Concealer. This is not a concealer, but I wanted to mention this because a lot of people get a little bit confused with this. It's basically as if a concealer and highlighter had a baby, you would get Touche Eclat. It's got like an illuminating finish. The coverage is very sheer. The finish is a natural finish, so it looks like your skin is just glowing from within. And it's available in 14 shades, and they're always having limited edition packaging and stuff. So watch out for that one towards Christmas or Valentine's Day. However, if you are a big fan of Touche Eclat, but you want a fuller coverage, it is available in high coverage. So this is still not completely full coverage. It's like a medium coverage concealer. The finish is very similar to the Touche Eclat. It's got that natural satin finish and it's available in 14 shades again, but it is retailing for about 35 euro, $35. So it's quite high end, but it feels amazing on the skin. So I love that one. So that is it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up because I really appreciate it. Unless you've already given it a thumbs up and then if you click it again, you'll undo it. So maybe just do it once, just, just that one time. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, 